These teams did an amazing job of developing an award-winning, functional, sustainable building lovingly designed by the late Bing Tom, who also conceived our original Surrey campus, as well as the library just up the street. This is a project that speaks to the value of investments in infrastructure, in education, and in innovation to building a strong and sustainable community and a strong and sustainable economy. This facility and those who study and work here will help to establish BC and Canada as leaders in clean technology and sustainable energy engineering by enabling more young people to realize their potential, their dreams, by advancing research and development. This facility will help to bolster BC's economy and to achieve our environmental objectives. As one of the first major institutions to lay down the roots in our city center, the opening of the state-of-the-art new building today is a natural evolution of Simon Fraser as it expands beyond the original Central City campus. I want to congratulate Andrew and everyone who was part of this project for your ongoing commitment to increasing post-secondary opportunities for the residents of Surrey and south of the Fraser. What you have accomplished to date is truly, truly remarkable. I look forward to seeing the next steps for Simon Fraser Surrey as it continues to expand in the step with our growing city. It's the people that will come from this building that will transform the world that they will inherit. And it's the students that come to this program with a vision and a hope and an aspiration to make life better for themselves and the generations to come. When I think of the teachings of uh, indigenous peoples around British Columbia looking seven generations ahead, I think that it was generations to get to this place and many generations that will follow us from this building today that will create a truly inspired outcome for Bing's architecture, for the commitment of the faculty here, the commitment of the elected representatives, the commitment of the people of Surrey to make this a hub of advanced education where young people can realize their full potential. British Columbia and Canada is better for it. I want to thank you all for allowing me to come here today. This is the city, the federal government, and the provincial government coming together and investing in people. Investing in a 21st century state-of-the-art building, and I hope you get the chance to tour and visit all of the labs, the wet labs, the dry labs, to acknowledge and honor Bing's uh, architecture and his legacy, what he is going to leave behind here in Surrey. We talk about taking a village to raise a child, but the community came together to make today happen, to make this building happen, and I'm so proud of you, President Andrew Petter, the board, and everyone that made today possible. I hope that this building serves so many generations to come. The facade is actually derived from a circuit board geometry and abstracted from that form, and it ties into the subject matter that's actually taught in the building, and that, abstracted form of the circuit board is carried in through the finishes as you notice around the 400 seat lecture hall and within the lecture hall and it plays and gives animation to all the spaces in the building. The building is organized too very logically and it's all organized around this amazing atrium that we're in today um, and on the north side on my left are all the sort of technical spaces of laboratories and so those are all stacked so that all those services can be kind of controlled more easily and then the, the space on our other side is more of the kind of classroom space and offices and, and less technical spaces um, and so that allows us to have kind of really state-of-the-art technical facilities for the universe, which is a big new thing for the Surrey campus here. There's mechanical systems where the return air from the south area of the building is actually being reused for the supply air in the north. Um, there's a new system called AirQuity, which manages um, uh, air quality in the labs, and it ramps up and down on uh, and senses what kind of exhaust fumes are there and that's quite sustain sustainable. We have our low, fl uh, low flow toilets as well. Um, I think also too, we as an office actually work with the social sustainability and trying to enhance and improve the environment in which people work. And um, as you know, a lot of engineering students will be working 24 seven in this facility, especially the research and the grad students. And so we're trying to create an environment in which um, they feel good about their workspace. 
So the official uh, functioning of the building will happen in September when classes start.